Okay, but I don't need you to be faster anyway. Hi, White Knuckles Racing. Like, subscribe. Yes. Share. Share. So this is Quincy. Uh, he's like, I want, he might not like it, but he's like the Theo of the group, you know? He's like the, 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 the big Theo. 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 I don't know what that is. Uncle. Uh, Uncle. Yeah, Theo. <laughs> Theo Quincy, you know? He comes out here. He has absolutely zero regard for his personal stuff. If you have a problem, he doesn't care. He'll help you out. He'll do whatever. It doesn't matter who you are, just to make sure that you get on track. So. Yep, it's all about helping people. So, have but, fun. but today, I need you to go slow. You got it. Way behind me. Got or if you get behind me, just push me to the wind. That'll do. So second place, I think it'd be great for you. Okay, and then Sunday we quit. Deal. Done. <laughs> Done. That's a deal. It doesn't matter. This video will never make it to the actual video because Gabe's videos, uh, he says it's not his style. And blah, blah, blah. That's why I like the old man better. Look at that. <laughs> Quiet. All he does is talk about, all he, he walks around. You want to pick So, we know that qualifying is my Achilles heel. And I'm going to try my best here coming up on qualifying to just throw everything I got at it. Uh, I did let somebody let me borrow some tires for this weekend's event. Uh, Hugo, Sick One's 101. Uh, hopefully, I, uh, I make them proud. They're not new, but they have bare probably 25 laps on them. So this is Gabe's white knuckle racing and he likes to do this because he thinks this is amazing yet it makes me dizzy. If it makes you dizzy let us know. He went out for practice and spun out I don't know how many times in the same turn. It didn't matter. Threw on some new tires still didn't matter. So he's getting all the spin outs out of the way first. Uh, 206 class combined total 30 plus carts. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out here for Orlando Cart Center. Uh, it's a growing, growing, growing track. Excellent facilities. Love it. Uh, I've hijacked this camera. I'm here walking around, getting my back loosened up. Uh, if you guys don't know, I had back surgery uh, last Thursday uh, for an issue that I've been dealing with. Luckily, I had some really good doctors to get knocked out of the way. Bad thing is, I'll be out of the cart for 12 weeks. 11 weeks now. So, I'm giving everybody an 11-week head start. Which they don't need. So, I'll be behind everybody for sure. Uh, hope he has a good race. Hope he has a good run. I hope he gets good, good footage. Uh, right here, he's discussing strategy with Miguel. Miguel's running the uh, light class. Gabe is in the heavy class. Uh, he's running decent lap times, hopefully with a couple of changes that he's been able to do. Uh, Miguel did a couple of changes. Uh, we're gonna be on the back foot with him. Uh, Gabe went and uh, threw on some uh, practice old tires. Uh, really, really decent tires. So hopefully he goes for a top step. And uh, for jam racing, we are hoping to salvage a top five finish. So we'll see how the weekend goes. Really hoping for some good racing. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash it, like it, send it. So just finished qualifying. Um, I got fifth, which is actually not bad for me. I think it's 11 carts or 12 carts. So not a bad start. Top five, so I'll take it. It wasn't really my quickest time, but I did get a little better. So what do we got going on over here? All right, three finals. Let's see what we can do. Pick up a couple spots. So, where'd you qualify? Fifth. Not bad. Not bad. So, I'll find some. It's not bad. It's not bad. Listen, I felt something for the first time on the cart. Actually, it's never hopped before on me ever. Never hopped on the cart. So, that was nice. Did I was like, hop now? Yeah. Never done it before. That's a change. I'm not complaining of no grip. I have grip. So, hopefully we can get Gabe up there in the top three. That's the goal. If the driver shows up, we know the cart's there. So, yeah, cart's fast, though. All right. So, let's go. So, we go ahead and we jump in right into the pre-finals. 
Uh, start is 6 for me. Uh, very uncharacteristic. I'm normally in the back of the field, so there was 14 carts. I was in the front half. I was pretty happy. I did have some more speed in me, so I knew that I could uh, make a climb towards the front of the pack with no problem. But man, these gentlemen were rowdy today. You can see here I get a little uh, love tap from Dan. He gets a little love tap from Quincy on the back on the lower screen. And then we all kind of get single file line for a little bit here. But it was just a matter of time before all hell broke loose. You can see Dan here. He, he was uh, taking off faster times than me at this point of the race. I really had my fastest lap on characteristic in the first three or four laps of the race for myself. I normally have them towards the latter end. Which, it, that could be attributed to tire pressure or cart setup or things like that. The cart was tight, as you heard earlier. Um, the cart was hopping a lot, which is abnormal for me. Normally you have a different complaint or uh, oversteering or understeering of the car. Uh, but right after this, I went ahead and did an adjustment uh, and it paid dividends. It made a huge difference. So Quincy there slides on the bottom. Uh, I get a, a love tap there for ride number 77. And once again, everybody follows up in the single line. Now watch how quickly this happens. So we go from foul line to four guys racing each other for practically the same spot. Why does this happen? This happens because you start fighting, your lap times drastically drop, sometimes two or three seconds a lap, and it allows anybody behind you to catch up. So you see here, literally two turns later, I'm right back in Quincy's bumper. They, they did have a little bit of a lead while they were foul line. Some of it is draft, some of it uh, was gearing. I was in the wrong gear for the pre-final, which I was struggling to, to keep up with guys and to actually make it pass. Normally, I, I do have the speed to send the car on the inside, which is what we like to do on that previous turn. Or even coming in here on the old turn one and two of Orlando Kart Center, running the opposite direction. So coming off of here, I, I should have had a good run. I took a really good line, and you can see there, I kind of kept the distance. I, w I wasn't able to get the car to keep going uh, because I was just pinging off the red one so early. I went there, tried to go on the inside. Like I said, I just had no corner exit speed on the part at all, just because of the gear. So there we go, the guys start to get rowdy. Now I slide to behind the 149 and Quincy takes his spot. So good job, Quincy. Unfortunately, in carding, sometimes you get a little bit of humble pie. Uh, you see Quincy here pulling off. He did have a throttle cable issue, unfortunately. Uh, but 
me and Barry kind of got into it. Mainly my fault. I do feel that maybe he did change his braking zone just a little bit. But being the chase driver, it is my responsibility to get around him clean. It is absolutely not his. It is 100% mine. As we come around here, uh, the, the flag turn, I do get a good run off the corner. I'm, I'm, I can see myself being able to catch him. I don't know if something changed with his car or not. And then all of a sudden, boom, I was in his bumper. I completely messed up his line. We got passed by two gentlemen there. And Barry, I'm sorry to apologize. Uh, we did get passed uh, by two guys there. I did give him the spot back because obviously I knew it was my fault. Uh, and then I pulled his bonehead boot. So pre-final is over. Uh, started sixth place actually, not fifth. Um, definitely on the wrong gear, 100%. Coming out of the turns, I had nothing. I'm probably one or two tooth off from everybody else. Uh, I also made a mistake going into one of the hairpins to where I spun out by myself pretty much. And the rest of the field passed me. I was able to catch back to one or two more cards, but uh, that was it. So we have a lot of work to do. We gotta start coming from the back. Unfortunately, Quincy also had an issue with the throttle cable. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can link up and just try to make a charge for the front and try to get hopefully top five or top seven for both of us. So. Man, oh man, starting 11. So nothing new for me. Usually by the time the final comes around, I'm in the back of the field. So you can see there right off the bat, I get bumped causes me to give someone a bump i uh, went ahead and i did not spin him off uh he did stay on the track and then it was up to chris and josh and myself uh we pretty much started going into a heated battle against each other luckily we do race each other a lot so at this point we're starting to get used to each other's uh driving habits abilities we all make mistakes uh which makes for a very clean very fun racing between So as you can see here, I, I am braking slightly later than a lot of the guys, which allows me to pick up two or three car cleans just on that single turn. Here, I decided to get on Josh's bumper. I knew that obviously I had to get either past him or Chris at some point. So I said, let me push Josh, see if I can get him right over past Chris, which it worked fine. I do end up getting pinched just a little bit here coming off the turn. And then I was, this was full commitment from this point forward. I knew that I was going to have to launch the card on the inside just so I can get past Chris. And then I go, he went a little bit wide, I took the inside. I knew that being that he was on the inside lane, he was going to go just a little bit wide. And it allowed me to pull all the, the, the hole out and switch a route. And he actually did a great job coming off that turn and staying on my bumper. Obviously two cars to move faster than one. You see Josh, they were kind of caught in a little bit of an island himself. And then it allowed me to slowly start reeling him in. Now you can see here he does hit the curb, he gets loose, the car goes all the way to the left side of the track. I am able to get a really good run obviously because of that. I do get a shuffle with Chris which is absolutely fantastic. I go a little wide, I allow him to pass on the inside and then here we go three wide into the straight. Now I did get some separation from this point forward. I was a little bit faster than them on this day and at this time. Uh, so I probably put about a second gap within a few laps. And then I worked my, my way to the front of the field to try to catch the leaders. Several laps later, I was able to get a gap on the field and catch the group in front of me. You can see uh, the, the Marcello had slowed down some with the gentleman in the front. So I knew there was probably about two laps to go right about here. And I had to make a move. He did break early going into the hairpin, uh, which caused us to get, again, uh, same hairpin, more problems, but... It is what it is, that is racing. Gentlemen there also popped the chain and then got into him. So, again guys, wonderful day of racing. I did finish seventh for the day. Uh, great experience and I cannot wait to go back and do it again. All right, so I thought I was done for the day. Look at this, look how immaculate this card is. And this thing is out here all the time. Mine it is a Tony, it's not a TV. But look, but look, but look. Dad always has it, this thing is, look, not a, no dirt. Look at that axle, no rust, nothing. Look, he's cleaning it, no. What do you got to say about your tech? It's all up to him, man. 
He's, yeah. He's great cleaner. Great cleaner. So that means you're in a ribbon dry. Yeah. <laughs> is that a fair statement? Is that a fair statement? Yeah. yeah. We need to work on that. No. I feel like from now on he needs to do all his own gear changes, all his stuff by himself. Yeah, sure he does. No, he does. He does. Because what happens when you're not there? I actually did yesterday. I was yesterday. How about today? All right. Well, there you go. A wrap and drive. First place in the juniors today. Really fast. This thing is immaculate. If you want to come clean mine over there. Noah, get at it. So. Alright guys.